Luis Elizondo is getting attacked once more by John Greenwald of the Black Vault. Get in here, let's discuss this. This is Cosmic Road, where I discuss UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, and if you do subscribe, please hit the bell uh, to be notified of future videos. And as I'm going through this, please comment below and let me know what you think. Okay, now I'm a fan of the Black Vault and John Greenwald, but he frequently says stuff that just drives me crazy. And he has uh, gone on kind of a campaign against Lou Elizondo in recent months. And I don't know exactly where this is coming from. Uh, is he siding with the Stephen Greer camp or is it more of the Mick West camp? Or I don't know, but it's, uh, it's frustrating to see this division in the UFO community that I feel this is causing, especially since I'm a real fan of John Greenwald in the Black Vault. I think that his FOIA disclosures have really done a lot for the UFO community and for getting a lot of real information out there. So what happened? Well, a few days ago, he released a video basically accusing Lou Elizondo of lying when he said he didn't hand off the videos. And, you know, I'm referring to the uh, 2017, um, you know, release of those three videos by TTSA. Uh, the Nimitz incident and the two videos from the Roosevelt. Uh, the most famous of those videos, of course, is the Tic Tac uh, from the Nimitz incident, mainly because the story around that and the corrobor corroborating evidence around that is so monumental. Lou said that he did not hand those videos off to Chris Mellon. Chris Mellon has said that he received those videos in a parking lot and he didn't say who gave it to him. Um, and uh, John Greenwald is heavily inferring that it must have been Lou Elizondo because uh, Chris said that we, meaning he and Lou, were in this together as far as releasing those videos. Well, you know, my response to that, uh, to John, uh, you know, I replied on his video, you know, I said that, uh, uh, of course, Lou was part of that. Uh, he is the one that got those videos declassified or unclassified and made them shareable uh, so that some ally of his uh, could then hand them off to Chris Mellon. I'll just read you our little exchange from uh, YouTube. I said, it is my understanding that Lou helped get the videos declassified or for internal use only, but it was someone else who actually handed them off to Chris Mellon. So Lou is not lying, but like he says, uh, plausible deniability. Because uh, he had, that was kind of his, his response uh, to being asked that at one point is, you know, plausible deniability, uh, which I think is a perfectly valid thing for him to say uh, given his circumstance. Um, and John Greenwald replied, see clip where Mr. Mellon references himself in Lou, then how he said we snuck them out of the Pentagon. Mr. Mellon also had the packaging with Mr. Elizondo's name on them. Did someone steal them from Lou? No. Come on, this is silly to justify and spin this beyond their own words. And I replied, no, I don't think anyone stole from Lou. Lou was able to get them declassified somewhat, and then an ally of theirs handed it off to Chris. At least that's my take. And uh, John Greenwald replied, uh, I mean this respectfully with no snark as it may be read that way here on YouTube. However, your take is flawed. What Mr. Elizondo did with the DD form in 1910 is not declassification by his own words. It was submitted for only for approval on internal use only. Well, I, I said that. Uh, AFOSCI and confirmed by the Navy to me directly, the videos were unclassified. That does not, however, mean they can be released to the public without review. Well, I, I didn't claim that they could. Uh, that said, for him to falsify, assuming the remainder of Mr. Elizondo's story to me is true, the DOPSR, uh, uh, to DOPSR the intention for the videos, but he knew full well he would pass them off to someone else who would in turn pass off to someone else for publishing by the media. Your take is actually much worse for Mr. Elizondo, believe it or not. For Lou's sake, you should hope your take is wrong. So John's take that Lou actually physically handed them off 
um, actually leaking, uh, which is illegal, uh, is, is somehow better than my take where he just did some wibbly wobbly, you know, uh, paperwork and made it, allow, you know, able for somebody else to actually give it to Chris Mellon. I think my take is better. But whatever, I replied, uh, someone had to bend the rules to get this stuff out there. It started a revolution. So we should be grateful there are some people with the stones to do that sort of thing. At least I am. And I understand that people like Lou, who don't want to lie, cannot exactly tell the truth either. Or they would end up in jail or at least have their security, clear security clearances revoked. But I doubt he actually technically broke the law. He just made it possible to share the stuff and then let others do the actual leaking if it can be called a leak. Uh, and perhaps it can't. Uh, anyway, that was our exchange uh, on YouTube and a bunch of other people chimed in. Uh, I'm not going to read all their responses. Some were in favor of my position and some were in favor of John's position. Uh, but it is interesting that there is this debate out there. I don't think there needs to be a debate. I don't think we need to be dogpiling on Lou for making these videos available. Uh, he is a hero and, and Chris Mellon and all the people responsible, the unnamed person who handed them off to Chris Mellon if it was somebody else uh, and the, whatever allies Lou and Chris still have within that organization or whatever uh, that organization has become. Um, all the guys at TTSA, Tom DeLong, all those guys are heroes for getting this information out there. And like I say in this thread, starting a revolution that has really transformed the UFO, UFO community uh, in the world. Uh, so, you know, if you're against Lou, I would, you know, love to hear your reasons. A lot of people like to harp on the fact that he is a counterintelligence official. Uh, but as I've stated before, uh, if they wanted to create a uh, individual to spread a false narrative, they would not have chosen a counterintelligence official. If they did, they would have given him a new identity. Uh, so he would not be a counterintelligence official as far as we would be aware of. He would be some sort of analyst or something. So, uh, so that uh, narrative rings completely false and is illogical. Uh, Lou is who he says he is, and he's a hero. And Chris, I mean, what is the narrative that anti-Lou people would have? I don't quite understand why they think uh, the government would try to get this information out there uh, and then come so hard against it for so long, only reluctantly acknowledging it. Um, for what purpose? Uh, is it that old saw about uh, the false flag. Well, that is a repurposed false narrative that was originally supposed to be about Jesus and how there would be signs of Jesus coming and the government would stage fake visitations of, uh, of Jesus. And that would uh, do the same thing that this false flag with UFOs would seem to do uh, according to that narrative. Uh, but yeah, so that, 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 that story, that old saw has been around forever and it has recently been repurposed to apply to UFOs, but it was false when it was the whole Jesus story that never happened. The government never did that. Um, and they never did it with UFOs. That's, that's, that's a, if that's your position, I, I hope that you reconsider because it is an illogical position, not supported by any evidence. However, John Greenwald is simply coming after Lou for no particular reason that I can see. He's not saying that the videos are illegitimate. Uh, he, he seems to think that the videos are legitimate. So why then come so hard out, uh, come so hard against Lou? I, I don't quite understand the animosity there. Um, you know, yeah, Lou probably bent some rules and thank God he did. But why draw attention to that? Uh, why try to whip people up into a fervor about that? That's only going to embolden the anti-Lou and anti-Lou, uh, excuse me, anti-disclosure people within the government to actually possibly prosecute Lou. 
uh, and Chris and their their allies. So I think that is a very dangerous and very destructive thing uh, to throw these accusa accusations around. Anyway, that's just my take. What's yours? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. That would be awesome. Uh, please like, please subscribe, and when you do subscribe, if you do, uh, please hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Uh, there are social media links below if you wanted to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. That would be really cool. Uh, there's a PayPal button below if you wanted to support the channel. That'd be awesome. Uh, until next time, Cosmic Road out.